Okie dokie boys and girls. Last night we had winds with rain approaching 70 miles per hour and I came back out here and I uh, closed up these ends on this uh, Chinook 14 by 12 and I actually thought when I come back out here today it was going to be blown down because then were some big winds. This grommet's holding up fine. The strange thing is uh, I come out here the other day and looked at this thing and this is partially my fault. This isn't bungee, bungee cord. This is a uh, paracord. I didn't have, before last night, we didn't have heavy winds. This damage here came before the high winds. I have no idea why. But uh, closing up these sides, as you can see with a 14 by 12, you got yourself a whole tent. That hammock gets buried inside here. Now, once we uncross the ends, you know what? <laughs> this thing kept this part really dry. <clears throat> I'm gonna open this up. Pull it back. Find out one thing about this. Instead of rolling it up, you can just take it to the other side and clip it. See that webbing over there. Yeah, uh, you would have had a scene to, to rain last night. Uh, we had that big old uh, heavy part to rain all the way up from down from Atlanta all the way up here, and in, in pass through Charlotte, and the one that took out uh, parts of Tennessee and and everything. There was a, a good five minute stretch there that winds, uh, we, we were hunkered down in the house even because the winds were up to 60, 70 miles an hour. And this thing seemed to hold through all that pretty well. I'm quite impressed. I still don't understand why that part gave off the other day. I think I'm just going to put me some Gorilla Tape over that and I sew the Gorilla Tape to the stubble fabric. That should be fine. I was planning on giving this thing to a family member anyway that uh, does a lot of car camping with, the, with his kids on the ground, having converted them to hammocks. Something to extend his, uh, extend the sunblock. All right, I'm kind of I'm kind of pleased with this part here. I really am. Uh, if this thing's this dry right now, I'm going to have to assume that the, the other day when it got wet inside here, it had to come from the fabric itself. Uh, there's not a drop in here this time. So with a rain fly, this hammock is perfectly fine. We'll continue our investigations on it. Like I said, any any hammock I'd have out in any woods, I'd probably be having a uh, rain fly with it anyway. Just to block the sun, if nothing else. Uh, sometimes that sun gets pretty hot on you, beating down on you. So we're going to keep this uh, we're going to keep this open like this. Let some air pass through. Alrighty then. Once again, I'm going to halfway close up this side. This pack is so big, you can uh, drag a side down any way you want. And you're still plenty, plenty, plenty good on distance from side to side. Just by crossing the corners. I see where a lot of people are buying 
doors for uh, bigger nylon uh, tents. Playing some pretty good money for that stuff. And it just makes me scratch my head and figure if they're going to do that, why don't they just buy the big uh, tarp to begin with? But uh, they might not use them doors. I don't know. Just some thoughts. Set it up the way you want. We all hang our own hang. Alrighty. Anyways. It held up through 60, 70 mile an hour winds. That one rip appeared in, on that one grommet before those 60, 70 mile winds by a day or two. Uh, I still don't know why it did that. Uh, that's why I don't like grommets. But if, the, if you're going to fold this over the half halfway mark to use it like that, you're going to have to use the grommets. So uh, you're kind of stuck. You're pretty much stuck. Anyways, uh, overall, it was probably the seams didn't didn't seem to leak any place. Uh, overall, for its price, I guess it's kind of hard to beat. But uh, I hate that one grommet. All right, Chinook, fourteen by twelve, got hanging there. We will see you in the woods. Later.